Today on the Engineering Minute, we're going to talk about bearing seals. Any bearing that contains rolling components will need to have a seal to keep out dirt and other contaminants. There's an entire industry devoted to protecting bearings, but we are going to just look at the basics. The seal that most of us are familiar with would be the integrated seal. These are commonly found on ball bearings and are very convenient for an all-in-one solution to reduce the friction of a mechanical device. These are typically divided between what is known as a shield and a seal. Shielded bearings typically have a sheet metal cover over the balls to keep out dust, but still can allow in oil for maintenance. Also, there are rubber sealed bearings, which provide the most protection from the elements and come from the factory fully greased for the life of the bearing. These bearings are essentially maintenance free, but their life can be limited as they are not usually serviceable. Next, there are dedicated bearing or shaft seals, which are typically installed in the same housing as the bearing to keep dirt out of the entire assembly. A common example of this would be the type of seal that you would find on the axle of a car. When using these type of seals, the bearings are open, which allows them to be bathed in oil or packed with grease for continuous lubrication. This is a superior approach to longevity, but it can add significant complexity to the design. 